Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create these Halloween shot glasses using Dollar Tree shot glasses, spray paint, and some vinyl that I cut from my Cricut machine. So easy to create and it cost me under $2 each to create. So now let's get started. So starting in Design Space, I have some characters already picked out. Um, I either went into Google and then just cleaned them up a little bit like these three here. Just go in Google and type in um, The Nightmare Before Christmas and some images will come up and you can easily clean this up in Design Space. These guys I bought uh, from Etsy on a, on a bundle deal, so I can leave the link below. Otherwise, you can always just check out Etsy and type in Halloween characters, and they should come up. And then as far as the hand, I did pretty much the same thing. Went in Google, found this image, and then uh, downloaded it into, or uploaded it into Design Space. And then this one here, um, I just wrote out, and then I used the font Spooky, as you can see here. I'm just trying to make this video a little bit quicker for everybody. Um, so the only thing that you want to do with this is actually change the sizes. So actually there's a couple things. So here I have a hand and I need another hand to go on the side of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go down here and click the weld button. If you don't do that, every single one of these little pieces would have cut out individually and you would have had a big mess. So the next thing you want to do is click duplicate. And then move it to the side here. And you don't want two right hand, two left hands. So you just take one of them and you flip it. Flip horizontally. There you go. Now you have two identical matching hands. And what I'm going to do right away is change the color on these so I can do it so I don't have to do it later. So I just select them, go to the color box, and change it to be red. And now you can change it to whatever size you want. Um, I think I did about a two by two. Uh, just not going over too much, but I'm just going to shrink these up a little bit. And kind of see how it looks um, but you want to keep them the same size so if I go in here and change the size here it's not going to match this one so what I'm doing is just taking both of them and stretching them so they're exactly the same so when they cut out they will cut out two different pieces but now because we welded it together it will cut out as one whole piece and be a lot easier for you so for this one, Spooky Shots, you can put whatever words you want on here. I just like the way that it looks. Like I said, the font is called Spooky, and it's kind of neat. And this one I'm going to change to be red, too. So I'm just going to go to the color box and change it to be red. This one, I measured the back of it, and I have one, I believe I did two by two for each word. So to do this, I'm actually going to select it here. Go to ungroup up here because these words were put together. Now once you ungroup it, it will ungroup each letter individually. We don't want them to cut out individually. So I'm going to select this first part, shots. Go down here and click attach. Then do the same thing with spooky here and grab attach. So now these are two separate pieces, but instead of cutting out each letter individually, it will cut out the whole thing. Now I can go back in and change it. Like I said, I think I did mine about two by two each. You want to measure your... Um, container. I just use my green mat and kind of go that way or you can get like a tape measure out or a ruler uh, but I love using my green mat. So now I'm going to go up here and just change it. I'm going to leave it locked here and see what it would look like if I just change it to two. So it's a little bit small so I'm actually going to unlock it now and see what it would look like two by two. Yeah definitely not. So I must have been wrong. I think it was a two by one actually. So we're going to go in here and change it two by one. Oh yeah, that's much better. And then I'm going to change this to be the exact size. So unlock it and then change it to be two by one there. So when you put it down next to each other like this, this is how it will look. You can change it to whatever size, but make sure that it will fit your box. So these are actually done as well. You can actually go ahead and here and attach it, but I don't really like the way this looks, so I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. And you can cut it out where it will cut out in each of these individually, or you can go ahead and select both, go to the line button, and then center it. Now you know it's exactly in the center, and now you can attach it. So when you cut this out, it will cut out just like it looks, so you don't even have to worry about trying to center it on your board yourself. So going with the characters next, I believe I did um, two by two for these as well. So you just want to unlock up here 
and then change it to be two by two and kind of see how it looks like gauge and see how it looks like if it shrinks it or if it makes it look really weird or skewed you can always change it so i'm gonna go up here unlock box change it to be two by two and she looks a little bit big for me i guess so i'm just gonna shrink it up a little bit and then do this guy as well whoops i forgot it here here we go two by two and same thing just gonna shrink it up a little bit um but you want to measure your little shot glasses i bought mine from the dollar store so you want to like just you know see how big you want it you might not want it two by two you might want to shrink it up a little bit which i actually think i'm going to shrink mine up to even 1.75 by 1.75 yeah see I like that a lot better so I'm actually gonna go ahead and change these ones I want them to be all the same size so you have them exactly the same so I'm just gonna change this one And I like that one much better. So all three of these are actually done as well. And I found this one. I went on Google and uh, found this and I um, cleaned it up in design space here. I just thought it would be kind of neat to go on the back of the shot glasses. Kind of like the spooky shots here. So as for the spooky shots one, I did 2.1 by 1.7 so it's going to be something similar to that so i'm just actually going to unlock it and see how we can get it to look like this without going over i think actually i'm going to measure it really quick so i'm just taking my green mat and i'm holding my shot glass box up to it so it looks like it's um five wide by i don't know about two and a half long so now i know i can go that kind of distance to be 5 by 2.5 and kind of see as long as you can have it big enough where you're able to weed it and you can see what it says I think that would be perfect so this is what I'm going to do actually I'm going to change this one too to be a little bit wider so 5 by 2.5 there much better okay and as far as the hands go I love these how they look you can make them as big or as small as you want I'm just going to put them on the box and then the same thing with the rest of the character. So you're, I'm not going to show you all of this, how to do it again. But please make sure that when you um, put an image into Design Space, that you look down here to see if it says attached or if there are different sides on the, edge, on, on the edges here. Meaning, like right here, you're going to get this basic cut. This will cut black, and then this one will cut white. So you can see on here, these are going to be two separate cuts. I think all of these are actually the same, so I can't show you any other ones. But similar to this with the hand, where there was a whole bunch of stuff on the side here, um, you want to make sure that it's going to cut out all as one piece. So please make sure that the attach button or the weld button is selected. So I'm going to go ahead and resize the rest of these guys, but I'm going to show you this in the meantime. So I'm going to click make it, and then I'm going to show you what setting I use really quick. And then I can go back here and um, resize my stuff. So here's what I said. Here's going to cut out white for the mask, and then all these are going to be cutting out black. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of space in between these, just so I can get my scissors in between each piece. This you don't have to do, but it's just a little tip that I have that it just makes it so much easier. And then just go in the red, and here's the handprints, and then the spooky shot. So I'm going to push continue and I'm just going to show you really quick which setting I love to use. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway. A company reached out to me to see if I was interested in trying out their product. And then I asked if I could do a giveaway with for my subscribers. So I'm going to show you really quick what I'm going to be doing for a giveaway. I purchased these previously and I absolutely love them. I have not had to change my blade in probably six months, um, and I use my Cricut pretty much every single day. So these really go a long way. You get 40 pieces in total, so you get 10 pieces of the fine point blade, 20 standard blades, and then 10 pieces of the deep cutting blades. So these are absolutely amazing. If you do not have these, I would highly recommend these. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these, and this will last you, I swear, 
a couple of years, to be honest with you. So it's a great price if you're not a winner. I'm sorry if you're not. I will be doing a couple of giveaways for these, actually. Um, but this brand is really awesome, so I highly recommend that. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that. So I always want to make sure that you have a, you know, sharp blade in your machine. And you always select the material that you're going to be using. So in this one, I'm going to be using the stencil vinyl. And I'm just using Oracle 651 vinyl. I want it to be permanent. I want it to stay on the glass. So when I use that, I just use this stencil vinyl right here. And then I always change my pressure here to more. Just for me, it just works better. So whatever you want to do, um, just make sure that you do it the way it's going to work for you. But I do absolutely love using the stencil vinyl and I love those blades. So good luck to you guys. I will leave it. If you just want to leave a comment in the description if you just want to leave a comment down below, I'm just going to randomly pick a winner. And stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more giveaways for these if you're not one of the lucky winners. So stay tuned for that. So to finish this up, I'm going to actually cut this out. I'm going to weed it out and then I'm going to show you the next step of applying it to your glasses. Okay, so I have my files cut out. Here's the first one, the Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I have the three characters here. Um, I'm going to show you one that's finished. So this one is finished. These have the guys on here ready. And I put the hands on the top and then the back I did spooky shots. You can put whatever you want, but that's what I did for these. So here is what it looks like originally. So you see it has a whole bunch of color and stuff on it. So I take the little cups out and I spray painted it with black. I also have another one with white, but I will tell you something that I learned. So I used... Let's see, this black spray paint, this two times um, ultra cover, I only had to do it once in black. Then I tried to do this one in white. This sucks. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm always telling you the truth. When you're going to buy spray paint, buy a little bit more expensive one and get this one, the Rust-Oleum. This one just didn't hardly do anything. I have like blotches on it. I have little runny spots on it. Please don't make that mistake. So from now on, I'm just gonna buy the Rust-Oleum kind. So when you before you start working on your glasses, you're gonna wanna take a little bit of alcohol and just clean them off really well. It has like little finger marks and everything on it, but you always wanna make sure you work with a clean surface. So try as you can not, I'm just touching the top part here. Try as you can not to touch it after you're done, except for just the top part if you can. So that's gonna dry really quick. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the other ones that I have. So I have these guys as well. And then I have the other one, Spooky Shots, here cut out. Um, this one I cut out previously before I showed you it. Um, so I have the other ones completely centered in the middle. This one I'm just going to cut and then have to center it myself. Um, but again, it all comes down to how you want to do it. So here is the finished one here with the blacks. So you want to make sure you're working with the right side. So if you fold this up, you can tell that this is the front here. Obviously, the glasses are here. But you just want to make sure what way you want to put your hands on, if you want it towards you or if you want it away from you. So I'm just going to flip this down, move these guys carefully out of the way, and show you how to start. Okay, so... I guess I don't have my hands on hand right now, so I'm going to skip that part. So I'm going to have to do that later on after I'm finished. So I'm not doing anything with the top part here, but I'm going to start with the back. So I always like put this together so I can tell which way. So I know that I want my wording to go on this way. So I'm going to flip it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make sure I do it correctly here. So I want the wording to go up at the top here. So I'm doing it backwards, upside down for me. So I want to show you guys what it's going to look like. So here is the spooky shots that we have. And I'm going to just take some transfer tape. And I love this transfer tape. A lot of people ask me what kind I use. So I think this is called Fiskars, if I'm saying it right. But a huge, huge roll. It goes a really long way. I've tried the dollar store stuff. It does not work for me very well. Um, this stuff I can just use over and over and over again. So I'm just going to take a little piece off here and then use my little scraper once I get on. Oops, I went spooky first. And then just use my scraper here and scrape it on really well. And what I like to do is I flip it upside down so I can make sure that each word or each letter comes off of the backing. And unfortunately, if you can see it there, I had a little piece on here. So when I take that off, I'm going to have to fix it. So we want spooky up at the top. And I am working backwards 
or upside down rather. So I'm trying to see where the center is here. And then you want to do this carefully because you don't want to peel up any of the extra spray paint that you put on here. So just take your time peeling this up. So I hardly put it on and I'm just going to peel up an edge and it's going to leave the letters while I take the transfer tape off. So here, whoops, here was that extra little piece. There we go. I got that off. And Another mistake that I'm seeing already, I don't know if it shows up well, but my finger marks are on here. I did not let this dry very well before I started going. So you wanna make sure that you dry your um, box before you go ahead. I was just kind of in a rush. I wanted to show you guys how to do this. So make sure that your box is completely dry before you start putting your the vinyl on it. And I just work upside down. Same piece of transfer tape. I love using this stuff over and over again. So now, just doing my best working upside down, trying to get in the center. Like I said, when I was in design space, it would have been much easier if I would have done it that way where I just automatically centered it. But this one I did not. And I'm trying to keep my fingers off of here because I'm seeing all of that. So there, here we go, the spooky shots. You can have it say whatever you want it to say, I just like that one. So again, when you put it up, there's the correct way. So now to do the glasses, I'm going to be careful just touching the top part of this. A um, Couple of these, um, I don't have them on me right now. I have extra ones of these guys. Let's see if he comes in there. So he was a devil to weed, believe it or not. Um, so what I like to do is actually reverse weed. If you don't know what that means, I did it for this one. This one was very hard for me to weed. What it is basically is you're reverse weeding. So I put the transfer, or the transfer tape on top of the whole piece of vinyl before I even weed it. And then I pull it back and I take the vinyl with it so every Everything is on your transfer tape and then you pull off the vinyl leaving um, just the pieces on here it's so much easier than it sounds I have a whole video tutorial on it in case you're interested but this was actually a nightmare to weed before I did the reverse weed so if you're interested in that I will leave that in the description below it's so much easier to weed these guys out so I'm just gonna take actually that same piece of transfer tape if he'll fit and I actually cut it in several pieces so I don't have to waste another one. So I'm just gonna layer him basically. So there's one piece there, and then I put one on top. Then I'm just gonna use my squeegee and just do it that way. Then I'm gonna flip it over, and there it is. So I don't know if I can do this backwards again. We're gonna try my best here. So I'm just trying to find the center and make sure there's enough room on the top. So if you guys can see that. So it's just like, come on camera, there we go. Just like that, so I just put it on. Now I'm just gonna take my thumb and smooth it out as best as I can. And then I can remove the transfer tape, leaving just the vinyl behind. And we have the two pieces. I hate wasting transfer tape, I really do. So I try to use it over and over as much as I can. So here is this guy, he's all finished. Then I'm just going to do the same thing with the next one. So I'm just going to take my two pieces of transfer tape and just lay it right over. Squeegee it on really well, flip it over, and make sure everything comes off. Perfect. Then I'm going to take my next one. Whoops, I already did that guy. I don't want to do another one. Take my next one. I wish I could show you guys better. I hope you can see it. Can you guys see it? Can you leave a comment down below? Can you see this? I have a different uh, camera right now and a different setup. So I'm trying really hard to show you guys how to do this. Can you see it? Would you please leave a comment down below? Am I doing okay? Are you guys seeing all this? Should I do a different camera angle? Um, I've been gone for a little while trying to fix up my craft room or my studio, I should say. I would like, I'm actually gonna, would you guys be interested in seeing my studio? I'm really proud of it, how I got it all set up. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment down below. So what I'm doing is just taking my fingers and pushing this down so it will stick nice and even. And then you just pull back your transfer tape. And I do see I have a line right here, a little bulge, I don't know if that comes up. Sorry guys, everything's backwards to me. I'm actually looking at my screen, so it's kind of hard. Which, if I turn it one way, it's going the other way, it's backwards for me. So I see that I have a little line here. What I'm actually gonna do is I moved it towards myself so I can kind of see. 
There's a couple different ways. You can be bold and try to pick it up like I am now. Just all I'm doing is peeling it off very, very carefully since these little pieces, I don't want to cut them. So all I did was peel it up just like that and then I'm just going to use my thumb and put it down correctly. Or another way you could help that is with a pin. If you have a bubble in it, you just poke a little tiny, tiny pin hole in it and then you can push it and that will get the air hole out. Um, or you can always take your squeegee and kind of work with it that way. But I just chose to do it the other way where I peeled this hair up here and then I just pushed it down because I made the mistake of um, not putting it on perfectly. So there's that one. I'm just gonna show you the last one, so Pennywise. So I am using Oracle 651. It's the permanent vinyl, so this should not come off. If you sell this or give it away, I would put a little note in there saying, you know, hand wash, don't soak, don't put in the dishwasher. I know there is dishwasher Mod Podge, but I've honestly, I've never used it before. Have you guys ever used it? I'm kind of curious if it would work or not. I'm afraid to use it and then somebody does happen to put it through the dishwasher and then it gets ruined so i don't actually use it so here's this guy so the last part with this <clears throat> excuse me since i don't have the hands i can go back and do the hands later but i'm going to show you really quick what it looks like so you just want to put these guys in here facing the front you can always move them if they get kind of out of whack but just like that and then you close the back just like that so there it is there we go. But I would let this sit since it is uh, 651 the permanent. I would let it sit for a day or two before you would try to sell or give it away. Um, just because you want the vinyl to be more adhesive to your product. So there it is. Still got to finish the top. Here's the back. And I was also thinking you could also like spray paint really far away. Like just spray paint some red even on top of it. That would be kind of neat looking. So there it is. So there's this one. And then this one is the same one. But it's a little bit different with the handprints on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this one as well. Um, I have these faces here. Um, that I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to do it on the white one, but because I used that cheaper white spray paint, it's taking a while to dry. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in the end. But do you like this so far? Is this tutorial helpful to you? Please leave me a thumbs up if you really enjoy this video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of them up that I have, and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like this video. I love doing this video tutorials. I have many, many more Halloween tutorials coming, so stay tuned, guys.